this is a transmission with a ratio from 1 to infinity. Well, let me explain what I mean with this. This shaft here is an input shaft and this is an output shaft. So there's a little bit of arrow that indicates how this shaft is moving. If I turn the shaft, you can see that the arrow is not moving. This means that for each turn I turn this shaft, there are zero turns on this shaft. It means a ratio from 1 to infinity, basically zero. Now you are asking what is this for? Well, a transmission from 1 to infinity zero is actually not very useful because if you want something to not move, you just bolt it uh, directly to the structure. But this principle is capable of enabling a transmission ratio up to 1 to infinity and beyond. Let me sh show what I mean. I will now replace this pulley here with a slightly larger one. Now, if I turn the shaft, once again, you see that it's slightly moving forward. But with a quite la large ratio. The ratio of this gearbox is given by this expression and due to the fact that there is a minus, you can choose a combination of diameters of the pulleys so that this term gets infinite. You can have even values beyond infinity, that means that you get negative values. Or in other words, the direction of rotation is inversed. As you can see here with this uh, 49mm pulley, the, move, the arrow is moving clockwise while I'm moving the input anti-clockwise. Why pulleys are not gears? It is actually possible to use build something similar with gears and with gears you actually can really build an infinity drive with a ratio from 1 to infinity. But with belts you have one advantage. Uh, with gears you are limited by the number of T's. Um, and the other reason is that the way how these belts are kept in place is a very non-intuitive way uh, or non-intuitive principle and I wanted to test this. Steve Mold has made a very interesting video about this. I don't know why you don't see this principle more often and I have not found actually the correct name how this principle is called. Um, I actually would propose, if it doesn't have a name yet, I would propose the infinity drive. But actually, if someone knows the correct name of this principle, it would be very nice if you could uh, post it on the comments.